What's going on, everybody? This is Dathib here to bring you another video. Welcome, PlayStation Nation. Well, hello, the PC Master Race. And, uh, you know, just a kind of salutation to all you guys out there. Uh, keep it gaming, okay? So, I want to talk about um, in this video regards to the fan base who migrated from the original Xbox to the 360 to the Xbox One. I want to talk about the generations and how the generations of the original Xbox, starting with that console, have massively disappeared in, in terms of the interest in a variety of games that we have today, okay? Starting with the original Xbox. We know the Xbox brand is notorious and it has a stereotype. It's known as a dude bro console. Meaning that they only play as Call of Duty, the most popular franchise out there. You know, that I talked about in the market. Call of Duty, Madden, NBA, NHL, uh, you know, any branch of those sports games and racing games like Forza, okay? And what else did I say? That's it. There you go. In Gears, that's it. Gears of War. So Gears of War. So these franchises are so known by the public, and uh, that's basically the most mainstream games, basically. Okay. Just we have garbage mainstream rap. You know what I'm saying? That's just why why I don't listen to that garbage music, heavy metal. <laughs> no, nah, and also jazz and classical music. And that's not the point. The point is, is that the generations of these genres have migrated to a whole nother level. They have no interest in today's games. I look at the top 25 or top 30 games on the original Xbox and why it was a great console. Like, I'm serious. I have the original Xbox as of now, and it's still a great console. And the sales otherwise proved that back then, gamers had an interest in the Xbox platform. And there was a variety of games. They had, all, they had a lot of JRPGs. They had a lot of, sorry, not JRPGs, well, all of that too, but also... RPG support, or sorry, Japanese support, I'm sorry. Okay, Japanese support. It had support from everybody, Europe and America overall, and everybody had a plethora of games to play that did not make a stagnant system. Okay, I'm even disappointed with uh, like 360 and PlayStation 3 top selling games. The original Xbox, and aside from the GameCube and PlayStation 2, the original Xbox has, a, 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 probably say number two, um, top 30 list that has a huge variety of games and i wanted to read you guys on what look at this list and then you'll see the differences between these these uh, generations of consoles so uh specifically with xbox okay so you look at number one okay um i'm not gonna say the numbers it's gonna read it all for you halo 2 halo combat evolve tom clancy splinter cell the first one elder scrolls 3 morrowind fable the first one Rockstar Games, Double Pack, Grand Theft Auto 3, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Need for Speed Underground 2, Star Wars, Knights of the Republic, the first one, Project Gotham Racing, Project Gotham Racing in Japanese weekly sales, I don't know why that's up there, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Madden NFL 6, Dead or Alive 3, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Star Wars Battlefront, Madden NFL 2005, Need for Speed Underground, the first one, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Project Gotham Racing 2, ESPN NFL 2K5, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three, Metal of Honor Frontline, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Spider-Man the Movie, True Crime Streets of L.A., Star Wars, Vance Republic 2, The Sith Lords, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2, The Simpsons Hit and Run, Doom 3, and Burnout 3 Takedown. You know, I gotta read, I, I gotta read five more because this is great. Tom Clancy's Underground, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Ninja Gaiden, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, and Max Payne. Do you see the difference in what is sold today as the most popular franchises? Now, let me read you off the 360 list. Okay? Give me a minute. Let me lead you the top 30 games for the Xbox 360. Here we go. Connect Adventures. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Halo 3. Grand Theft Auto 4. Halo Reach. Call of Duty Ghost. Halo 4. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. That's top 12. Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Minecraft, Battlefield 3, Call of Duty World at War, Gears of War 2, Halo 3 DST, Red Dead Redemption, Gears of War 3, Connect Sports, Gears of War, the first one, Assassin's Creed, Forza Motorsport 3, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 2, FIFA Soccer 13, Fable 3, Batman Arkham City, Fall Out 3, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, Forza Motorsport 4, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, FIFA Soccer 14, and Fable 2. 
Do you see a difference? You got more do bro games. Do you understand? Do you understand? Best selling called a uh, best selling um uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 sold 14.54 million. Wow. See, folks, do you understand the difference in terms of the 360 and to the original Xbox to the 360? The original Xbox, you had JR, I mean, you had Japanese support. Now, surprisingly, no JRPG on the top list, but that's okay still. Yeah, you had Dead or Alive 3. Uh, I didn't say a token. You got Ninja Gaiden. Okay, you had uh, what did you? Uh, what did you else have? Um, in terms of besides you know the American Soul game like Star Wars and Need for Speed, you got Project Gotham Racing, which today I, I wish Lucid Games, which were bizarre games, who made a new studio and made Geometry War Three Dimensions, will make Project Gotham Racing Six and actually make that an Xbox One exclusive. And I actually may consider getting an Xbox One because that was that's the, one of the best racing games of all time. Still below, slightly below Gran Turismo. That game's absolutely amazing on every level. So you had Elder Scrolls, you had Project Gotham, you had Need for Speed, Star Wars, you had Halo, you had um, uh, Doom on there. Surprise! You got Simpsons hitting one surprisingly on that list. True Crime. A lot of this, as I explained so already, you had those franchises and one and one Elder Scrolls game, and that was a moral one, which is still one of the best Elder Scrolls game of all time for all you Skyrim. Dick Riders, man, get out of here. You don't know what Elder Scrolls is. Please stop. Please. I even played Daggerfall and Reason the first two. Anyway, go back to the topic here. Do you not see a migration of the original Xbox to the 360, the fan base? 360 is when you got that Dubro image. And these gamers don't care about anything that is, doesn't have guns in it. If it ain't got a gun in it, it's not a sports game. Or a racing game, it's irrelevant, and that's so sad. They don't want to play top-notch shooters like Doom, Goldeneye, Wolfenstein, and Unreal Tournament. They want to play Call of Duty and Battlefield. They don't want to play top-notch uh, RPGs like you know. I mean, what do I, I mean? I can't talk about past RPGs, but you know, some of the old school Final Fantasy games like Final Fantasy VI, the greatest Final Fantasy game of all time. You know what I'm saying? Tales franchise, Personas. To the Sukadens, to the Hyper Dimensions, you know, that Sweebo ish. You know what I'm saying? To the J Stars, man. I'm saying, like, unless you're an anime fan, that's the only reason you should be playing that game, by the way, if you're an anime fan. Just, man, not expanding the horizon to playing the games that we love Valkyrie Chronicles, Vagrant Story. You know what I'm saying? Like, just play something else, man. You know what I'm saying? Why are you, I mean, I'm no, if you want to play Call of Duty the rest of your life, I don't care. But could you expand your horizon playing some other games? I mean, what do I got for PS4? I got Mortal Kombat X, Far Cry 4, Devil May Cry Special Edition, J Star's Victory, Kills on Shadowfall, Bloodborne. I got uh, God of War 3, and I got, what's the other one? Uh, I don't know what that is. Infamous Second Son. You know what I'm saying? A variety of games to your to your action RPGs to your strategic RPGs like Shin Megami Tensei or Pokemon for that matter to the you know adventure like games like Infamous to the the JRPGs are difficult as hell like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and Dark Souls Three can't wait for that game. Do you see that variety or not necessarily a variety? But do you also see the, those Xbox games supporting that garbage on the, on their console or not garbage but they call it garbage? No, you don't, right? So that's what bothers me about the, the Xbox fan base is why they don't spend horizon. Sales are very important. They don't want they want downplay to say that sales are not important. Sales are very important when it comes to discussing the games that are being uh, released on your system. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody doesn't like what everybody doesn't have to like what I like or they have to like what you like, but what I'm telling you is that expand your horizon. You're being telling me there's not one RPG that interests you that's j that's Japanese. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these Fallout fanboys, for example, the hypocrisy is real with these clowns. They're so hyped up on Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, but these clowns cannot even get down and play Fallout 1 and 2, an overhead RPG. The the same games like Ultima. Or Diablo, or Baldur's Gate, or Shadowrun. You don't want to play a game like that. Why? You too lazy to get into it. See, because if it got a gun in it, it's okay though. See, 
<laughs> something that does not require any form of logical thinking at all. And that's why these games sell like garbage. So this is why I'm glad that some of these developers like Axis and Atlas and XC, they make these games with such a low budget that they only need to sell like 200 copies. I mean, the developer who's making Death Guy, I mean, uh, who is it? it what's forget? Is it, um, is it always, I forget, XC or Axis? You one of, one of them um, who's making Death Guy Five. Uh, they said that they only need to sell 150,000 to 200,000 copies just to make a profit for that game. I was like, wow. So thank goodness their their budget is low. See, because if there's if, they, if their budget was millions of dollars, then they would be out of business. The Japanese market would pretty much be non-existent, which is declining today, sadly, because everybody wants that dude bro image. Pretty bringing the Call of Duty. Pretty keep buying Call of Duty every year. I'm not buying Call of Duty Black Ops Three. I haven't played Call of Duty since what was the last Call of Duty. I think Black Ops was the last one I played back in 2010. I, I can't remember. It was it 2011? I don't. Remember, I don't remember. The point is, is that I have no interest in Call of Duty. Do bro games. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying the Call of Duty overall is a horrible uh, franchise. I played several Call of Duties and they were great, like Call of Duty Two and and Modern Warfare. But the thing is, is that when you look at these sales for the original Xbox and the 360, it's non-existent. Now, starting with the 360, you have games like Infinite Undiscovery, Blue Dragon, you have Benji Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Perfect Dark Zero, you had, um, there was, it's not a game, it was a game called, like, it was a game like Tokyo Street Racer, I can't remember what it is, but it was an amazing racing game, fantastic. Uh, yeah, Project got them racing three and four. <sighs> My goodness, man, what else did you have? You had, uh, Forza More Sport 2, which I thought was mediocre at best, The Darkness, Gears of War One, so you understand the variety I'm talking about. This the first three years of the Xbox 360's life cycle was a variety of games that the Xbox One will never have. A plethora of variety. You see, these games come to the the Xbox Xbox One, but a lot of these games are being bought by Microsoft. That's why, for example, Elder Scroll. Um, sorry, the reason why um uh. Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain is comes to Xbox One is because of the deal that happened between Kojima and, of course, um, Microsoft. You know what I'm saying? Remember Kojima, I think back in 2013, came on stage and said, we're bringing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 to the Xbox One. Thank you. You have a good night and thank you for your money. That's it. And then he just walked away. Uh, that was hilarious. But that's the reason why you have games like Elder, uh, just saying Elder Scrolls. Games like Metal Gear Solid 5 comes to Xbox One, but guess what? They don't sell well. Did you see the sales for Metal Gear Solid HD Collection with Snake Eater, Peace Walker, and Sol uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, Sons of Liberty? Only sold like uh, barely 400,000 copies, while the I think the PlayStation 3 version sold like 750,000 or 600,000. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, Metal Gear Rising is actually a better example. Sold almost uh, almost 400,000 copies. The PS the PS3 version sold 1.3 million. Better example. Sad, isn't it? You see the difference between sales. Dark Souls sells two plus million. Okay, Microsoft sells less than half that. What? Why is it you guys can't spend Horizon? I know you got lives, and I know gaming is just a hobby, just like mine is. But you can't spend Horizon try something different. Now you know why? Because these the, these morons are making excuses as to why they can't play great games. You got a clown, you know, who's lying to the public and his Xbox fan base. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Upset that Dragon Quest Eleven is not coming to Xbox One. Why are you upset that it's not coming to Xbox One when you guys don't buy JRPGs? It doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand why Final Fantasy Fifteen and and, and uh, I'm actually made Final Fantasy Fifteen, but Kingdom Hearts Three. Come on now, that game is not going to sell at all. Nobody's going to buy that on the Xbox brand. So why are you getting? Why is the developers pouring that game to Xbox? They need to stop that. I don't know. Square Enix must be again. Microsoft must be paying Square Enix because you, you can't be making stupid decisions like that. Nobody's gonna be buying Kingdom Hearts on the Xbox brand. I'm not. When I'm saying by the way, nobody. I'm not saying literally no one in context of my words. I'm saying that a very short people are gonna purchase that game. You know what I'm saying? You see the difference. That's all I want to say, folks. Is that you see the games on the original Xbox that made the, a great console and migrated to 360, great. And then when we reach 2009, that's when that Call of Duty do bro image started to increase. It started 2008 or 2009, 
and then went out and then just went to bro. And we're 2015, six years later, all people care about is COD. Back then, people were caring about Halo. They were playing about Elder Scrolls. They were caring about Coder. They were caring about Need for Speed, Grand Theft Auto. They were caring about Splinter Cell. They were caring about all Project Gotham Racing, you know, Grand Turismo, you know, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot. You get exactly what I'm talking about. A plethora of games that nobody cares about today. That on the Xbox brand, of course. That's about, man. Join the PC, PS4 Master Race.